What's up guys, today on Rack Recordings we discuss slip editing in Studio One. This tutorial will also work for any DAW that allows you to slip edit but is tailored more towards Studio One. Slip editing is a non-destructive form of audio editing that allows you to hide the beginning and also the end of your audio tracks. It also allows you to put your audio tracks in time without leaving any artifacts, which is what I will be going over in this video. With slip editing, you're not stretching or shrinking your audio, you're simply moving the audio within the track forwards or backwards in time. So I have some guitar tracks here that I recently recorded for a new project. The first thing you're going to want to do is be sure that you have the original unedited DI saved to your computer. The last thing you want is to have to have the artist come back in and retrack everything because you messed up the editing process and didn't save the raw audio. I personally like to edit in 16th notes, but check your audio, see what timing you're in, because it might be different. Glance through your first track and see if you can spot any timing errors. Go to your first note, use a knife, and cut the track where you want the note to be. Hold the Control and Alt keys, which will bring up this cursor. This is the slip editing cursor. While holding Control and Alt, simply click the track and drag it forwards or backwards to bring your first note in time. Follow along until you find a note that is either on time or early and cut right before that note. Move along until all of your notes within your cuts are in time. Move on to the second track and repeat the process. Once you're done, listen to your audio tracks and make sure that they're both in time. You shouldn't hear any clicks or pops. If you do, you need to adjust your edits until they go away. Your final step is to highlight all of the edits you made, or as X. This creates crossfades, which will fade out and in your cut tracks to make the edits seamless and flow together. Adjust your crossfades as needed. Finally, bounce your edited tracks and you're done. Always remember to save your work as you're editing. Just in case you screw something up and need to go back to a specific save, then that save will be there. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you, see you later.